Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here. I want to tell you why Hashimoto's affects your quality of life, even if your TSH and your hormone levels are normal. So is Hashimoto's a big deal? If you talk to a lot of doctors, they say, ah, it's no big deal, you know, you take the medication, everything's fine. Uh, but that really isn't true. I mean, if you're suffering with Hashimoto's, you know how bad it is. Constipation, dry skin, you know, vaginal dryness, uh, weakness, feeling cold all the time, frequent sweating. I mean, there's a long list of things that would be you know, really horrible to experience. There's some new research that's come out this year that's, that's proven without a doubt that when you've got TPO antibodies, which are one of the antibodies you can test for when you're looking for Hashimoto's, women that have elevated levels of TPO antibodies, even if their TSH and their hormone levels are normal, those women have a decreased quality of life. And this information really ticks me off because just yesterday I was talking to a, a new patient and she said, you know, I just found out I got a raging case of Hashimoto's from her endocrinologist, but they can't do anything for her because her TSH is normal. And it just, you know, it, it floors me, man. It really it kills me that that's the practice model. It's like the doctor is handcuffed. Well, I, I know you've got the, these antibodies, but, you know, I, I can't do anything for you. And really, the doctor could do something for them if they had some training. But I guess, in fairness, uh, the only thing that they have is, you know, to give you replacement. And, you know, kind of the guideline is if you, if your hormone levels are normal, even if you've got uh, antibodies, we can't do anything for you. So understand there's a huge number of women out there who are suffering, who are like, hey, I've got this process going on, but nobody will help me. That's why if that's you, if you're watching this and you're a TPO, you've got positive TPO antibodies or positive TGB antibodies, Understand that the research shows that you can feel bad, that you can have all of those symptoms I just named, right? Those classical hypothyroid symptoms, constipation, dry skin, uh, losing your hair, vaginal dryness, weakness, feeling cold all the time, requiring excessive amounts of sleep. You can have all of those and your thyroid hormone levels be normal or what they call euthyroid. That's E-U-T-H-Y-R-O-I-D. This is a really fantastic study because they took about 600 women and they gave them all these questionnaires and they found out that these women and some men are having a horrible time. Even though they're, they're not hypothyroid, they've got these TPO levels. In fact, they did a really cool split, and maybe I'll have time to show you, where they said, look, let's make a cutoff of women that have a TPO of less than 121 or a TPO of greater than 121 and see, you know, what kind of things are these people suffering. What they found out is, is these women are suffering in all domains. You know, social roles, their uh, zest for life, you know, their physical ability, their pain. You're having symptoms. And now I want you to understand if you're watching this and maybe you felt a little bit you know, crazy or maybe someone's told you that you're depressed because you got these antibodies, but, you know, you're not low thyroid. So the symptoms you're having can't be due to that. Well, now you, need to, you can go back to them and uh, I don't put the citation here. You can go back to them and say, hey, why don't you read this study? Why don't you read something? Uh, that's up to date because uh, there is a reason why you feel bad. Now, what are you going to do next, right? What's the next thing you're going to do? Well, they're not going to be able to give you thyroid hormones because based on your lab work, you don't need that. So that MD is probably not going to be able to help you. What you're going to have to do next is find someone who can look at your thyroid problem and this Hashimoto's autoimmune tissue reaction, as we call it. You have to find someone who can look at that from a functional perspective. Someone who's going to understand that there are things you can do and, and there are things that you shouldn't do. <laughs> There's a pretty uh, clear way that you should handle this Hashimoto situation. There's diet changes. There's lifestyle changes. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of testing that, that could be done to find out why are you like this, right? Why, why are you continuing to, uh, why, why are you starting rather, why are you starting to attack your thyroid gland? So it can be fairly complicated, but what I want you to walk away with is that you're not crazy. Uh, there is a reason why you feel bad, even though your thyroid hormone numbers are normal. And now I'm talking about even if you're not taking thyroid hormones, okay? A lot of women take thyroid hormones and they still don't feel better. And that's because they've got Hashimoto's, right? That means that, means that they had anti-TPO antibodies or anti-TGB antibodies and their TSH was elevated. Now there's a whole bunch of other women, thousands upon thousands, that have got TPO antibodies but in low thyroid symptoms, but their TSH isn't elevated or their T4 isn't low. Those women are in a real uh, wasteland, a real no, a no man's land or no woman's land. But now, that, but now you know you need to get help. Uh, you need to get help fast. So you got to find someone who understands that there is a reason and that Hashimoto's affects your quality of life in all areas, whether your thyroid hormones are normal or not.